I'm the Disc Golf Guy, and this is my video blog. I'm joined by our co-owner of Legacy Disc in one Steve Rico. Steve, it's here. Yeah. You ready to talk about this? Absolutely. Everybody in the world, whether you're a Legacy fan or you're about to become one, everyone out there has been waiting on the Outlaw. This high-speed driver, tell us a little bit about it. Well, it's uh, definitely uh, taking some time. I did not want to put it out until the disc was absolutely perfect and uh, finally we got it to where it flies the way we want it to. It's durable. Um, it's everything that I wanted it to be. So now is the time that uh, it's going out to get released. All right. So some of the hard questions such as you said it's taken some time and it's not exactly what you wanted. Talk a little bit about the process. Don't give any industry secrets away, of course, <laughs> but talk about that process when you are saying you want it to be or fly it in exact way. What does that mean to you? Um, well, we want it to be overstable, fast, obviously, and uh, I want to be able to fight the wind with it. So when we designed it. Um, that's what, what the design was for, but um, we went through a couple uh, different retooling stages and then uh, getting the plastics right, the, the weights right, and having the disc still be durable and fly the way we wanted to, it took some time to, to perfect that. Some people think, well, you just throw some plastic pellets maybe into a molding machine of some kind, and all of a sudden you got a magic disc on the first try. It literally was months, and I know you guys were frustrated. I know there's other manufacturers that get frustrated in this process. What was that turning point when you're like, okay, I think we've finally got it where we want it to be? Um, that was maybe about a month and a half ago. Um, we shot some prototypes. I went out and tested it. I had a few other guys with big arms test it for me. And um, once I knew that this was not going to flip over in some in decent headwinds, that's when I thought the disc is ready to go now. All right, so what's kind of maybe surprising to people out there, it's not necessarily the fastest disc that you guys make. You guys have come out with the Rampage and you've come out with the Canon. This isn't faster than those, is it? Uh, it's a little bit slower. The rim is not as wide. Um, still a fast driver, got a lot of glide, but uh, this is something that was missing out of our out of our lineup. An overstable, still a fast driver, but a lot of people can't get their uh, their hands wrapped around the lip of a cannon or a rampage. So the little bit smaller rim allows that little bit more comfort for, for the smaller hands to grip and uh, still maintain a lot of distance and stability. And um, this is it. So people are going to be watching you rip this from a couple of different angles. You're going to see how they fly. Talk a little bit about what you want out of that flight when you're throwing one of these. And what kind of situations will you, will you use it in? Um, mainly headwinds, you know, and um, we're still trying to maintain some distance. Um, the disc is really reliable. I can torque on it. I can turn it over. I know it's going to fight back. And basically that's, that's what you look for in a disc. You want to be able to trust that disc to, to fight the winds or or just any situation, you want that disc to be able to turn over and then fight back. So that was the main thing we were going for when we designed this and um, and now we have it. All right, well you are holding on to it. I'm holding on to one of these beautiful things. Of course you can contact me to pick some of these amazing discs up. This is in the Icon plastic and then in a limited release, they're still working on some Pinnacle plastic. Right. Talk about just that process, you know, people talk about ESP versus Champ versus Star and all the different you know industry standards. Talk about how the plastics and what that means to you guys. Uh, well, certain plastics, everybody likes a little bit of different feel. So what I like, you know, other other players out there might like something a little bit different. Um, colors vary and, and a little bit of difference in the flight patterns, but for the most part, they're all pretty close. Some will flip a little bit more than others. So, but um, you know, like I said, what I like, other people might like something else. So um, the Pinnacle will be released in here in a few months. I shot some prototypes with some Pinnacle for the team uh, team members to try and uh, and uh, throw them out there for themselves. So these will probably be available in a few months. All right. Well, there you go. Well, we hope that you've enjoyed the breakdown. Is there anything else you need to say to all the anxious people uh, that have been talking about and waiting on this outlaw? Um, just go out there, uh, pick one up. Um, all the hype about it is true. It is an awesome disc. I guarantee you'll like it. You can contact your local uh, vendors, and um, they, they'll all have them, and I guarantee you'll you will not be disappointed. As he said, all your local vendors and the disc golf guy. Absolutely. Yeah, <laughs> but again, they're everywhere, so yes, please just go out and get them. They are 
pretty amazing disc. You guys have been working really hard. It talks about your diligence. It, ta it speaks to just how serious you guys are about this and you wanted to make sure that you were really comfortable and you had this product exactly where you wanted. And uh, we're, we're pretty certain everyone's gonna be happy with them. Yep, thank you. All right, well, there you go. That is Steve Rico of Legacy Disc. Hello back to everyone at the shop that worked so hard on getting these out. These are some beautiful outlaws. I'm Terry Miller, the Disc Golf Guy. This is Steve Rico and we'll catch you guys way down the fairway.